There are 167 million women in America. Let's go ahead and cut that number in half, which will be 84, almost 90 million. Let's see. 167 be 80. Yeah, about 84 million women. What are we talking about today? We're talking about the death of the sugar daddy. Um, I had signed up on this platform. I haven't checked it in years. And I went in there today and I had 150 messages. When I was on there, I never had that type of number of messages. So one of the things you're seeing is the number of very attractive women who are financially struggling. And part of this is the death of the sugar daddy. And I gave you that number. Let's go ahead and say 167 million women, cut that in half. That's gonna be like 80, 85 million women, right? You know, adjusting for ages and stuff like this. And we could cut it in half. We can cut it to 42 million women. Let's say there are 42 million women out there in the sugar daddy market, right? All right, so if you take all of the NFL players, all of the NBA players, all of the Major League Baseball players, all of the actors, and all of the rappers, we will come up with about 30,000 men. 30,000. 30,000. And let's go ahead and cut the number of women in the sugar baby market from 42 to 22 million. It's still 30,000 men. What's happening is the economy is starting to get bad. I'll share some stuff with you. I'm in the market for a house, and this is one of the things I'm seeing. I'm seeing million dollar houses come on Zillow Sunday and have a contract Friday. And this is something my real estate agent told me. A lot of these people who are buying these million dollar houses are paying cash, so they're not worried about an interest rate. And what I'm seeing is the top of the market is holding steady while the lower market is slipping. I'm starting to see a lot of discounts on rental houses, uh, lower margin houses. Every week I'm seeing discounts, discounts, discounts. So the number of average men who could support a sugar baby is at an all time low. Hence the death of the sugar daddy, because there are so many women out there who are looking for someone to take care of them, to provide, to give them money. Right. But due to the economy, there are not that many men like once again, go back to the TikTok videos, go back to all of this stuff where people are whining about the price of eggs. They're whining about the price of dog food, all of this stuff. And here's the thing. Have things gone up? Yes. But they've only gone up 10 percent, maybe 20 percent. They've not like 100 percent increase. That hasn't happened. So this lets you know that the average person was already on the situation. The financial situation was bad to begin with. I saw this one video and I 100% agree. If you're blaming inflation for your financial problems, you had problems before inflation. Because here's the thing, with the death of the sugar daddy, because um, you know one of the things, and I, I predicted that this was gonna happen. I predicted this was gonna happen. You cannot flood the economy with $6 trillion Pay people who are sitting at home smoking weed, playing video games, having sex, and do this for a pr almost two years, and then after these two years, expect people to go back to normal. This is one of the reasons that people are 
whining on social media. This is one of the reasons that you see all of these things. It's like, I'm tired of working my job. I, I, I just need a break. I am stressed out from going to work 40 hours a week. And I see these videos and I start chuckling. I start chuckling. You're whining about having to work 40 hours? And this is why it's getting worse and worse and worse and worse. Let me explain to you what's going to happen. Um, I've been reached out. Someone's reached out to me talking about, you know, it, I know what she wanted. She wanted me to actually pull her in, help her with her financial issues. And I just I couldn't do this. I'm not in the business of saving hoes. I'm just not. So with the death of the sugar daddies. There are less and less men who have the financial ability to go ahead and patronize these women. And this is why I said, go back, look at the TikToks and see the number of attractive women who are complaining, who are like, oh, man, it's so expensive. The price of eggs, the price of oatmeal, the price of baking is all time high. I can't take it anymore. Let me explain to you what's going to happen right now. There is um, a shift in American culture. And one of the things that we're going to see is the number of people who are going to be able to financially support themselves in a good lifestyle. And what is that? Like, you know, someone left a comment talking about uh, my friend's son, like two hundred thousand dollars in California. And he's paying 60. He ain't paying 60 percent in taxes. Y'all can let that go. Tax ta the tax rules don't work that way. And he is out there in California. And let, let's go ahead and let me let me explain some stuff to you. Since he's out there in California, his father, who was rich. The whole time he was in college, and I didn't even get into all this, guess what he was getting? He was getting a W-2 because his father employed him. So guess what is he doing? He just graduated Georgia Tech, May, and he's buying a house in California. He's buying a house in California. So all this other stuff, oh, you know, he's, he's going to be struggling. You ain't struggling at 200 k a year. Let that go. Let that go. But what you're going to see is a big, big shift in America. And for all of you guys who listened to me years ago, who started a business, improved their economics and put themselves in the position. You're going to have the choice of choices. You're going to be able to get what you want out of a woman because this whole notion of I'm an independent woman. I don't need uh, some chicks like I'd rather be homeless than to be married. That's slavery. And I was just sitting there like be homeless then. Because, see, there's a lot of women out there who once they're going through that first foray of helplessness, that first foray of financial difficulty, that changes mindsets. All of a sudden, these things that they were so resistant against, like getting married, cleaning houses, taking care of old men. We'll talk about that in a minute. Oh, they, they down for that now. They're down for that because winter is here. The price of gas, the price of electricity, the price of cable, the price of everything is going up. Foreclosures are starting to spike up. Car repossessions are at an all time high. Credit card debts at an all time high. So the average person is going to be struggling out here. Right. Now, let's go ahead and talk about taking care of old women. I have seen this and uh, some people have talked about this. Well, I'm young and I don't want to give with someone. I want to have to take care of an old woman. Old man. Let me go explain something to you. Some of you young, frisky women going to be changing the old man's diapers in the future because changing an old man's diaper is better than being homeless. You all the stuff that y'all were like, I ain't going to do. I don't want to do. That's going to change. That's going to change on a massive level.
It's going to change tremendously. You're going to find yourself doing all kinds of stuff. Only fans, as I said in my last video, you're going to have a girl in the strip club. She's going to be doing camming at home and she's going to be escorting with the men who approach her in the club. And once again, the price of P is going to an all time low. It's going to an all time low. And this is just what's happening because, you know, I gave you the numbers. The number of men, the stars, the NFL stars, the NBA stars, the actors, the rappers, that only makes up about 30,000 men in the United States. 30,000. At a minimum, there's 22 million women out there who are looking for a sugar daddy. Who are looking for someone to take care of them, for someone to pay the bills, for someone to raise another man's kids. This is what they're looking for, and they're finding it hard to find. They're finding it difficult. They're finding it challenging. They're finding it it's not working out. Because when I went back to that account and I looked and saw all those messages... And these women were pretty. And back in the day when I was on there, women would ignore you. You would have to message them three, four, five times. Not anymore. Not anymore. Because hard times are here. We have a situation where people are starting to struggle. We have a situation where the reality there's go here on YouTube. There's a number of videos of homeless people. Homelessness is becoming a big, big situation. It's becoming a big situation because here's the thing. And I'm going to be doing updated videos about this um, with the death of the sugar daddy. And, you know, the number of men who have some change, who have some change, because one of the things that I see out here is that men have failed. Men are not leaders. Men are not making money. Men are not. They have failed as men. They've just simply failed as men. And since there are so many men who have failed, this has left the person to be eligible to be a sugar daddy. It has been, I would say, it's dropped about 90%. About 90 percent, because I didn't I just opened up the app. I didn't even go in to read their messages because I would have to pay and I'm not doing all that. But I can tell you that for the average man who has his financial life and what, when I say average man, I'm going to give you an example. Let's say your name is Ed and Ed. You have a Honda Accord. You have a 2015 Honda Accord that's paid for. You live by yourself, you have no children, and you got $30,000 cash in the bank. Ed, you can get what you want. You don't have to be a millionaire. You just got to have excess cash flow. And Ed, you've got a car that's paid off. You live by yourself. You don't have no child support. The things that you would be able to do, the things you would be able to get, the things that you would be able to set up for your life, are going to astound you. There's going to literally shake you up because the economy has gotten really, really bad. And this is one of the things. And, you know, with me in my house, uh, I see people who are trying to be greedy. And uh, I saw a guy who bought a house in like 2012. And I know what he's asking for that house. He did not pay for that, but he's trying to get it. And this house has been on the market for like six months. So it ain't just me. There's a lot of people who are just not going to go for this foolishness. So what I'm going to do is just sit on my money because the economy is getting worse. And I can tell also where I live. Oh, my God. They put out so many people. Because when I first moved in here, the elevators were always busy. There's an elevator that they use to move people in. And that was always busy because someone's moving in, someone's moving out. That elevator, I can use it whenever I want to now. They have evicted so many people in this building. I mean, I would say 
80 something people got evicted. 80 something. They threw them out. And a lot of these people who got evicted were single women who used to have a sugar daddy. And the sugar daddy can't put no more sugar in the tea. And what happened? They got evicted. Yeah, I'm not kidding. About 80 something people got evicted. 80 something. Because I, I can tell by the parking lot. Like, I don't have a reserved parking spot, but I typically park in the same parking spot because there's less cars out here. And also, they're advertising this place and the rent has gone down. They're advertising my place for $400 less than what I pay. Less than what I pay. So the real economy is coming in and it's doing real things to people who are unprepared. It's unprepared because I, I, I have these conversations with my real estate agent and I'm just not going to pay all of this money for a property because this is the thing I know. And this is some of my business lesson teaches me. There's always a deal for the person who's willing to wait for a person who's willing to do their research. There's always a deal. Now, for these women who want to be sugar babies, <laughs> there ain't no sugar daddies out there, man. There ain't no sugar daddies. The sugar daddy is dead. And do you see any of these videos on YouTube about how easy it is to find a sugar daddy now? You don't see them. You don't see them. They were running rapid a few years ago that you could be fat. You could be ugly. You could have acne on your face and you could get you a sugar daddy. I am seeing women who are drop dead gorgeous go without a sugar daddy. So there's no way in the world your fat ass is going to get you a sugar daddy in this current sugar daddy market. And for the men who are capable of being sugar daddies, let me drop something to you. A few years ago, you could have got you one sugar baby, right? What you paid for one sugar baby can now get you one, two, three, four. What you used to pay for one, you can now have four. If you're in that position, you can have four. And they will do whatever you want them to do. They'll do whatever you want them to do. And this is one of the things that is cracking me up. Because I've seen so much stuff like, I ain't going to do this, I ain't going to do this. Pressure. The fear of being homeless. Having no money, struggling with those bills, struggling with baby's kids. These women are changing because they have to because it's be the same and be homeless, be on the streets. Or you got to do what you got to do to make sure you have a roof over your head. I see a lot of people going to do what they got to do to have a roof over their head. And once again, for you men in the position to be a sugar daddy. You can get four or five for what it used to cost you to get one. That's how bad the economy has gotten. And it's going to get worse. It's going to get a lot worse. So the sugar daddy has died. The sugar daddy is dead. And you see all of these chicks scrambling for looking for daddy. Looking for daddy. And daddy dead. Daddy long gone. And daddy ain't speaking no more.